New disturbing details coming out in court today about the Columbus man accusing the deadly shooting of his own four year old son this week. Along with being accused of that murder, police also believe Jaquise Walker Sr. shot and injured the child's mother, Mashima Bolden, at Liberty Commons Apartments in Columbus on Monday. News 09's Gabriella Johnson joins us live outside Columbus Recorders Court this evening. And Gabriella, so break down for us what happened in court today. And there's also an update we understand tonight on the female victim. Of course, the so Gabby's in our newsroom tonight with these details. Barbara, right before the court hearing started this morning, Marshima Bolden, the mother shot multiple times Monday, was released from the intensive care unit at Piedmont Hospital. Suspect 35-year-old Jacquees Walker did not show his face in recorder's court this morning. He waived his right to appear. His public defender was there to represent him today. We have new details about the chaos Columbus police found Monday morning around 8 o'clock at Liberty Commons apartment on North Lumpkin Road. They had got a call that there was an accident, that a woman had possibly been hit by a car. They got a call that a female was shot, and they also got a call that a child was deceased. The child shot was four years old. Police say Jacquees Walker Jr. was playing games on a phone in his parents' bedroom when an exchange of words turned intense between his mom, Marshima Bolden, and dad, Jacquees Walker Sr. He was so angry that when she tried to leave the apartment, he just started firing. He said, I fired low because I wasn't trying to kill her. I was aiming for her stomach or legs. They found several shell casings and a man's wedding ring inside the apartment. Columbus police say they believe the two were arguing about Bolden planning to leave Walker Sr. Investigators found a trail of the mother's blood from the apartment all the way to the complex front office. The child's body was found inside the home. At some point before leaving the apartment, officials say witnesses saw Walker Sr. standing over Bolden yelling, you did this, this is your fault. I thought you loved me. She stated, I do love you, and then he leaves the scene. Sergeant Amanda McKelvey testified that Walker admits when he drove away, crashing into two different cars Monday, were both attempts to take his own life after knowing that he killed his son. This is what detectives say Walker said in interrogations. I did shoot my wife on purpose. I did not shoot my son. I did not mean to shoot my son. Sergeant McKelvey says Walker was combative during the arrest, punching an officer, eventually cooperating. Did your honor that, I quote, and I apologize for the language, I did a thing to my family. I just want to do what's right and tell the truth. Prosecutors say his claims of not intentionally killing his son are legally irrelevant based on wanting to shoot the mother. Regardless if that's his intention, it's still felony murder. After court, the defense attorney had no comment, but District Attorney Stacy Jackson was asked if Walker would face the death penalty, and he tells us it's too early to have that discussion. Bolden and her other two children still have to be interviewed, along with waiting on autopsy reports and witness interviews. Reporting live in the newsroom, Gabriella Johnson for News Leader 9. Certainly just a tragic story all the way around. All right, Gabriella, thank you very much for the live report. And another.